Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, I'm going to take up a topic that has often been discussed in my class and that is how to draw rational horizon diagrams. Uh, I want to show you the easy way of doing that. So I hope you find it easy because that is how I understand it. I'm, I'm not very bright myself. So I try to understand things from uh, an easy perspective. So uh, let me today discuss how to draw rational horizon diagrams uh, the easy way. Alright, so basically what you will have to remember is that uh, when you draw rational horizon diagram, it is actually drawn from the perspective of, of course, the celestial sphere. So just let's draw a sphere uh, and this sphere, remember this sphere has no radius. This is a infinite radius. Uh, this is not like the earth that you can measure from diameter to diameter. So uh, from di diameter wise or radius wise. This is a sphere of infinite radius. This is the celestial sphere, right? This cannot be measured. So what you can then do is once you draw a sphere, just draw a vertical line firstly and then draw a horizontal line. All right. And then name this north, south, west and east. Now remember, this north, south, west, east are just directions. This north is not the north pole of the earth. It is not. All right. It's, these are just directions just to give us an idea of north, south, west, east in the celestial sphere. What you then do is you put yourself, the observer, right at the center and you call it Z. This Z stands for Zenith. That means this is you. And I am looking at you from the top of your head. So your position on the earth has been transferred to a position in the celestial sphere. So whenever we draw anything in the celestial sphere, that is with respect to the observer. That is why we also call it the observer's zenith. Because it is so vast, we need some kind of a reference point. The reference point is you as the observer. Now here you can see the latitude I've just taken the different examples. I've taken three or four examples here of different situations that you will face when you're drawing the rational horizon diagram. So here the latitude is north. So as soon as you see that the latitude is north, draw the north pole here and call it P. Right now, remember this NP, this distance here is equal to the latitude of the observer. Now, because you are in the north hemisphere, the equinoctial or the celestial equator will be south of you, right? You are north of the equator. So we call this point Q. So WQE becomes the celestial equator. Now, remember here the equator is not drawn as a parallel line. It is drawn as an arc of a great circle. Now, if Q is the equator and you are north of Q, that means your latitude is north. If your latitude was south, you would be south of the equator. Am I right? So in this case, you are north of the equator. So your position as the observer Z will not change. You will remain at the center of this drawing. You will only change the equinoctial as it goes up and down with respect to your latitude. All right. Now this ZQ, this distance ZQ automatically then becomes equal to latitude as well. So NP equals ZQ equals latitude of observer, which is north in this case. Now your declination is also north. Right, your declination is also north. It is more than the latitude 17 degrees north. So what you will do is and I will just change the color of the pen here. So you will draw the declination circle somewhere north of you as well because because somewhere here is the body somewhere here the body will transit from east to west as it will go so this is the transition of the body so you can draw x here this is when the meridian passage or it can be here or it can be here it doesn't matter where it is but it goes north of the equinoctial this distance here this is declination and this is also north in this case that is pretty much it that is your drawing so if you were here so if I draw X and just let me erase the other X's, otherwise you'll get confused. Like I said, it is at the meridian when it is meridian passage. Otherwise it is somewhere else. All right. So X can be here. 
this is zenith distance right this this angle here becomes the amplitude this angle here becomes the azimuth that's how it goes and then this distance here from here to here is the true altitude from the from the body to the rational horizon so that is how you draw it when your latitude is north and the declination is north let's take another example in this case your latitude is south and the declination is also south so let's do the same thing that we did earlier all right so you just draw a circle what did i say next just draw a vertical line draw a horizontal line right, sorry just all right what do you call it you call the directions north south west and east put yourself in the center this time all right but remember this time you are south latitude that means you are south of the equinoctial so how do you draw the equinoctial now your position will not change you will draw the equinoctial like this and you call this w q e this becomes the equinoctial now you are south of the equinoctial so you become the south latitude now what remember we also have to draw the pole so when you are south latitude when your latitude is south don't draw the south north pole draw the south pole so this distance becomes latitude this distance is also latitude now here your latitude is 12 degrees south but what is your declination 6 degrees south so your declination is actually less than the latitude in terms of value right so what will i do is i will draw it in this way so this will become the declination circle of the celestial body so if here this distance is declination and this is south again because the body is south of the equino uh, equinoctial is southern declination that's it so body can be here body can be here depending on wherever the body is you can then go about drawing the rest of the rational horizon diagram that's how simple and easy it is all right let's take another example in this case i will make the latitude north and the declination south so what will i do again i will draw a circle draw a vertical line horizontal line in the middle call it north south west east put myself in the center of the observer that remains unchanged now my latitude is north so i will draw the north pole first and i will draw the equinoctial south of me so i put myself north of the equinoctial making it my latitude again this distance is equal to latitude and so is this distance but this time my declination is south so if my declination is south i have to go south of the equinoctial somewhere here is my declination so my body can be here or here or here or here wherever it is i am south declination so this here becomes the declination south of the equinoctial all right and you can of course measure it appropriately based on the scale of drawing that you are doing so here of course the declination was 18 degrees south you could have gone further south to show that the value of 11 degrees is more than 18 degrees all right just just to show give it a, some kind of a scale here the latitude is 22 degrees south and the declination is not so what will i do i'll draw a circle vertical line horizontal line north south west east if my latitude is south better draw the south pole first put myself in the center here latitude is south so i will go south so my equinoctial will come up on me so this is q and zq is equal to latitude and so is sp but my declination is north so where will my declination circle be drawn somewhere here this is my declination circle north of the equinoctial and my body is here x so it could be a x or x this value here becomes the declination north so here i can i have tried to show that seven degrees is less than 22 degrees so appropriately i have made the distances that's what you have to do in the diagram as well but you get the idea now right so you can connect the body here you can connect with the body here and then go about labeling the rest of the diagram
All right, remember each point on the from the zenith to the celestial or the rational horizon is 90 degrees of angular distance. So therefore, this is zenith distance from observer to the body. And from the observer to the rational horizon, this distance is true altitude. All right. So that's why we say 90 degrees minus true altitude is equal to zenith distance. Because this distance is 90 degrees and 90 degrees minus true altitude will give you the zenith distance. Now remember this 90 degrees is angular distance. It is not 90 times 65,400 nautical miles. No, this is 90 degrees of angular distance because we cannot measure arcs in terms of distances. We can only measure it in terms of angles. All right, so I thought I'll just give you this little tip to draw rational horizon diagrams. They are not as complicated as you may think it is. And especially if you draw a basic one and try to label it, I think the examiner or the marker will be very happy with your effort. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And please let me know in the comment section what you think about these videos. If they are of no use to you and you know, you're not benefiting, please let me know. I will stop making these videos. Uh, I only try to make them to make learning easier for all of you. Uh, and if it is helping, that would be fantastic. All right, guys. See you.